they're getting a double dose of weed killer that is linked to cancer, which is why it's testing so darn high for glyphosate. Yes, I already talked about this in my last video, but I think this is such a good example of how this guy talks about things using buzzwords and fear mongering to scare people about perfectly safe food. So if you caught that in talking about how much was on there, he states that is a double dose of weed killer and that it is so darn high. When in actuality, you would have to consume, again, to reach EFSA's ADI for glyphosate, you would have to consume as a 65 kilogram human over 20 pounds of this pasta per day to reach a potentially harmful amount of glyphosate. Just to give you an idea of how much that is, that would end up being 1600 grams of fiber. So I think you might have some issues with the fiber before you would have issues with the glyphosate. To add in some extra fear mongering, you see that he says that it is linked to cancer when in reality, parts per billion residues in foods are absolutely not linked to cancer. And in fact, EFSA just reevaluated glyphosate reapproved it for 10 more years. Again, this was the most comprehensive and transparent assessment of a pesticide that EFSA and the EU member states have ever carried out, taking into account thousands of studies related to human and animal health and the environment. In 2022, the European Chemical Agency carried out a hazard assessment of glyphosate and concluded that it did not meet the scientific criteria to be classified as a carcinogenic, mutagenic, or reprotoxic substance. So just a reminder for you to watch out for this fear-based content where people are trying to scare you about perfectly safe foods by saying a certain chemical is high without giving any context to the amount, the level that they're talking about. Also saying something is toxic or cancer-causing without providing evidence of that being the case with the actual dose in the food.